Whoever said that the best way to solve your problems is to pretend they don't exist probably didn't account for the fact that there's only so far you can run from them. Ultimately, your problems catch on, and you must confront them head on. Looks like that's precisely the case with the Nets, because they can't delay the Kyrie Irving decision forever. Let's look at the latest developments in the ongoing controversy. For starters, the Nets need to make up their minds. Have you ever been in a position where many people relied on you to decide, but you just didn't quite have the answers yet? For us, it's usually something as petty and insignificant as picking a place place to eat, but the Nets have a lot more on the line when deciding the fate of one of their lead players, Kyrie Irving. So for the sake of context, Irving was suspended earlier this month for at least five upcoming games because, well, the Nets didn't want to be associated with someone promoting anti-Semitic content. We'll get more into this later, but now fans wonder when the Brooklyn team, their guard player, will make a comeback. Usually when players are suspended, there's a direct timeline of the duration of the suspension, and then they're allowed to make their return. But this case is a little different, and the team is still trying to decide whether the Little Mountain is someone they want to have as a team representative. His fate is pretty ambiguous as far as we know, and things can move in any direction. Simmons gets it ahead, the touch to Irving, ahead of the field for two. Next, why did he get suspended in the first place? This is primarily for those who live under a rock, because at this point, the entire world knows including people who aren't NBA enthusiasts. We're just playing. It's okay to have missed the news with so much happening. The story goes that Kanye is not the only one on an anti-Semitic hate speech spree. Others are slowly joining the league. This town has been running for so, so long. They'll mute you. They'll try to mute you at all costs. They're afraid of us not being afraid anymore. And if anyone in the NBA world were to dip their toes in a bit of controversy, of course, it's our little troublemaker Kyrie. He recently promoted an anti-Semitic film and book on his social media, and then he refused to disavow it, even amidst pressure from his PR team. Sorry guys, it must be a tough job trying to handle this guy. All races, all cultures, all religions, and my response would be, um, it's not about educating yourself on what Semitism is and what anti-Semitism is. While the act itself may have garnered him praise from people like Ye, the rest of the world was very put off. Can we blame the Nets for immediately disassociating with someone promoting hate content on their socials? Fans fueled the basketball industry, and fans did not appreciate this gesture. They quickly pointed out the bigotry, so cutting Irving off for a while was probably the best action. Any kind of live five-on-five -five work in with the Nets as Kyrie knocks down. Let's look at how much Kyrie has missed. The interesting thing is that getting rid of their all-star guard may have allowed the Brooklyn Nets some extra time to evaluate the value he brought to the team. Hey, it's nothing personal, it's all business. But it did make the team wonder whether removing Kyrie worked better in their favor than having him back. This is why there's such a vast delay in the decision to bring him back. Just miss my teammates, miss the coaching staff. Uh, you know, just getting prepared with them in the morning or in the rising and then uh, carrying over to the game. Felt good. Even though, to be fair, the all-star player has removed the post and apologized ever since. But the team managers are convinced that this is not enough penance. The player needs to show how sorry he is, and they demand actual remorse. That's what he heard from Joe Tsai in a recent interview. Now, we don't know what the metric for actual remorse is and how the team will measure the genuineness of his apology, but whatever he's doing so far doesn't seem to work. And what's worse for him is that he's missed out quite a lot. Just this week, he missed out on his sixth straight game, and to make it even bluer than it already is, for Kyrie, of course. Kyrie from deep. Just square. The team seems to do completely fine without him. Irving doesn't take the three. Trying to create space, he does. Oh, the jumper's good! And a foul! Our boys from Brooklyn just beat the Lakers in a tough match with a record of 116 to 103. Coming up, other factors that make Kyrie hard to deal with. Yes, yes, we know that anti-Semitism in itself is a huge deal. Look what it did to Kanye. Surprisingly, Irving saw Kanye's collapse, along with the rest of us, and still didn't take the hint. But then again, this isn't the first time our boy here disagreed with the NBA world. Hey, we do have to give him credit because he isn't afraid to voice his opinions, no matter how polarizing. But if his career is at stake, then we'd advise caution, because the all-star player has been rubbing the NBA the wrong way for quite some time now. Before this, it was a knee injury that made him miss four games. And hey, a lot can change in four games. The team gets used to your absence. But again, no one blames him for that. But the blame is assigned to him for being benched last season for his blatant refusal to get vaccinated. Of course, he is an anti-vaxxer. It's not hard to join those dots. But in an attempt to stand true to his principles, the man not only lost the chance to play a few very important matches, but he also got in the bad books of 
some important NBA big shots. Yikes. It's just one controversy after another for our lad here. Next, what are Kyrie's thoughts on the whole ordeal? At this point, the man just genuinely wants to be back in the game. Basketball is his passion, and he's willing to do what it takes to live his dream. You can't guard him one-on-one. -on -one. Luka doesn't even have, doesn't even see it till he's about to lay it up. He first met Adam Silver, and then he had dinner with Joe Desai, all in an attempt to prove that his post legit meant no harm. At this point, he's more focused on doing things to compensate for his slip-up, and he's been talking much less. But from what we've heard, he's itching to be back in the field. No wonder he's willing to have dinner with whoever it takes. Hey, let's commend the genuine effort being made on his part. Kyrie even went on to Twitter to post a rather cryptic message, in which he mentioned that he was put on this earth to build an equal world and not to fuel any political or religious war. The man clarified that he just wanted to do his job, and the slip into a political controversy was a slip-up. And while Tsai may be convinced after his dinner with Kyrie that he doesn't hate the Jews, others, like Stein, believe he has work to do. At least the dinner worked out for him. We wonder what he put in the food, because it seemed to do wonders when it came to convincing the Nets owner. Moving forward, what is the road to redemption? The road to penance is never an easy one. We can't just make mistakes like these, say sorry, and move forward. The world would be much less accountable if that were to happen, but the Nets seem open to the idea of eventually welcoming back. That's why they prefer the term fluid, labeled to define Kyrie's status on the team. Come on, man. Unbelievable. But before this is to happen, there are certain remedial steps that he needs to take. And when we heard of those, our mind was a little blown because the Brooklyn team is making sure that no such mistake is ever repeated in the future. And we think this will deter any future mishaps. So from what we've heard, Kyrie has to not only sit out five games, but also pay a fine of $500,000. Yikes. Game. And uh, just really just cool down. You know, give yourself a chance to reflect. Uh, it's kind of... You know, crazy, we gotta come in here and answer all these questions right after a game like that. But the good news is, that money will be used for donations and charity. And that's not all, folks. Even beyond the fine and the suspension, the man is going through proper sensitivity training. This includes meeting Jewish leaders, going through sensitivity training, reading up on such issues, and finally meeting with Tasai again to discuss his future on the team. Do you see what we mean? The road to redemption is long, but we're all for rehabilitative justice, so we wish him the best of luck. Lastly, what do other players have to say? While most players have stayed hushed on the matter, the Nets guard seems to give one very passionate and consistent supporter, Durant. Durant clarified that he's not interested in the politics of it all. He just knows Kyrie is passionate and high-spirited, and that's precisely why Durant wants his team member back as soon as possible. He's shooting the ball extremely well for us, he's spacing the floor, but he's also driving the ball when he's catching. He's just making the right play right now. I think that's... Uh you know, when you make the right play, then... To be fair, in terms of the game, Irving does have a lot to contribute. Let's hope he can earn back the chance to prove that. And on that note, it's a wrap for today. What do you guys think Kyrie's fate will be? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. See you next time.